गाइस दिस इज अभिषेक फ्रॉम गैदर्स डॉट कॉम एंड टुडे वी आर हेयर एट द लिनोवो बूथ एंड लिनोवो हैज अनाउंस कपल ऑफ डिवाइसेस हेयर एट आई फॉर बर्लिन वी हैव टू ऑफ देम विद अस व्हिच आर गोइंग टू बी द सुपर अफोर्डेबल 4G एंड्रॉइड फोन्स व्हिच आर कमिंग टू इंडिया वेरी सून विद इन द नेक्स्ट 2 मंथ्स यू विल सी दीस डिवाइसेस इन इंडिया एंड दे विल बी नॉट मोर देन 100 डॉलर्स और नॉट मोर देन 5 टू 6000 रुपीस इन टर्म्स ऑफ द प्राइस दे विल गिव यू 4G 1GB ऑफ रैम इंटरनल मेमोरी इज गोइंग टू बी 8GB एंड 2000 मिली एंपियर बैटरी इज गोइंग टू बी देयर व्हेन इट कम्स टू द कॉम्प्रोमाइजेस द कॉम्प्रोमाइजेस आर गोइंग to be there on the display size they are going to be there on the hardware part of it as well it is having the mediatek 6735m which is the latest 4g chipset which is an affordable chipset from mediatek and then this one has sc7731 which looks like a third party one not even you can say uh, it is not even qualcom or mediatek yeah. so this is how these two phones look like i am going to tell you the differences in between these two this is the lenovo a1000 and this is lenovo a2010 so 2010 and 1000 in terms of the differences this one has got 5 4.5 inch of display this one has got 4 inch of display this is wvga this is fwvga when it comes to the rear camera the rear camera is 5 megapixel on this one whereas the rear camera on this one is a 5 megapixel camera as far as the front camera is concerned the front camera is 0.3 megapixel when it comes to other things we have 2000 milliampere battery on both of them when it comes to the processor we have got mediatek processor on this one and this is a third party processor which is again not good we have android 5.0 lollipop on this one we have android 5.1 lollipop on this one and when we talk about the internal memory yeah, the internal yeah. memory remains same on both of them and 1gb of ram is also there on both of them so these are the key differences in between these two more or less they are kind of same but you will get better hardware on the lenovo a2010 compared to what you get on on lenovo a1000 so these are the differences which we have again in case you want to go for a super affordable android phone which should have 4g as well this is this may give you 4g i'm not sure about the 4g connectivity but this one definitely has 4g apart from this this is going to be even around 3 to 4000 rupees so this one is good but not great choice especially in case you are uh, looking for a smartphone or it is going to be your first smartphone because the display is not good the camera performance is also average this one is a slightly better better device but there are lot many other options in the market which you can go for like the Ficom Energy 653 which is a 5000 rupees phone and it gives you a lot of better features compared to these two which we have with us which are going to come to india so let's take a look over the okay that's it from us thanks for watching this video you can like this video if this video help you this is all we have as far as the quick comparison of these two devices are concerned do let us know if you have any specific question for these two phones we would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you